by not doing videos, you're actually precluding yourself from doing business with the very people you would most be comfortable doing business with. That's the power of video. How many of you, it, like if you look at your closest circle of friends, I mean the people that you really, really trust, how many of you or how many of them, what percentage of them would you say share similar interests, similar backgrounds maybe, similar mannerisms? Do you follow? How many, what percentage would you say of your closest, of your closest friends? You know, something great happens, that's the person you want to call. What percentage of them would you say are very similar in personality to you? Just call it out there. 75%? Great. Anyone else? Would that be about the, about the range? Look, a couple of things about that, right? Uh, for those of you who are really following along with the reading list uh, that I gave you as part of your business planning, right? Your 2023 business planning. There's a list of books there that I recommend that you read. See, look, we will always feel the most comfortable with people who are like us. You want to grow your business, you learn to adapt to the personality styles, the mannerisms, the pace, the gestures, the tonality of people who are not like you because that's what ends up building a connection of building rapport. The thing about doing videos, excuse me. <clears throat> the thing that prevents you from doing videos is actually the thing that will get you not only the most business, but the most business with people who are like you people who connect with your mannerisms, with how you say what you say, the way that you smile, the words that you use. In other words, there was a time, does everybody know Dennis, he's in our office? There was a time where Dennis was considering getting out of the business. Dennis is from a foreign country, English is his uh, second language, he's from a foreign country, and his background is extraordinarily analytical. He an, has an engineer's background. So he focuses on the thing that every single one of you just about in this room hates. He focuses on statistics, Ooh, spreadsheets and graphs. I mean, he just eats that shit up, right? So he embraced doing video, even though same discomfort, same discomfort as everyone in this room has about utilizing the power of video. Same fears about what are people going to say about him? What are people going to say if he misses a statistic? <gasps> right? And here's what he found. His business doubled within a year and most of the people that were reaching out directly to him, lo and behold, were engineer types, accountant types, people who really value statistics and data. Why? Because when they, want, when they were researching Spokane and they were re researching a Spokane realtor, they were finding his videos. By the way, you find lots of videos. But they were finding his videos and they kept gravitating towards the information that he was providing. Why? Because he was delivering it in a style and in a pace and in a mannerism that they felt very comfortable with. By not doing videos, you're actually precluding yourself from doing business with the very people you would most be comfortable doing business with. That's the power of video. <laughs>